Well, can you imagine getting a shot to prevent the craving for an addictive drug? I want you to take a look at this controversial vaccine that is on the horizon. Yale researchers are working on a vaccine against cocaine addiction. Nearly 3 million Americans are addicted, causing negative social and economic effects. 40% of test subjects were able to cut back or stop using cocaine temporarily. Join us is Dr. Harold Urschel. He's the chief medical strategist of InterHealth and author of Healing the Addicted Brain. So, Dr. Urschel, tell us a little bit about this cocaine vaccine. This cocaine vaccine is a very exciting breakthrough. I've been treating a cocaine addiction for over 15 years and maybe tried four to, four to 500 cocaine acts during that time and I've never had a medication or a tool as exciting as this could be once it's brought into treatment. However, you know, cocaine kind of, the cocaine vaccine works in the blood, cocaine works in the brain. Being a brain specialist, uh, I found it very helpful at times to have an extra brain around sometimes. <laughs> and uh, yeah. if you take the regular brain and open it up and look inside, the white part of the brain uh, is the cortex where we think. The blue part of the brain is called the limbic system. That's really the control center of the brain. And the control center of the brain is actually hijacked by alcohol and drugs and injured. And so the problem with what science is doing today is it's actually giving us completely new treatments of how to help fight addiction by protecting and healing this injured part of the brain. For instance, we have a Suboxone, which is a treatment for um, prescription pain pills and heroin addiction. It's all but a cure for the addiction. Another treatment for alcoholism called Vivitrol. It's a, tr it's a shot for alcoholism that lasts for 30 days. During those 30 days, you can't get drunk if you, if you use the shot. Again, it's there to help pr protect and heal this part of the brain. Now, at the same time, this information needs to get out to the people. It needs to get out to treatment centers. I felt so strongly about that that I wrote a book, Healing the Addicted Brain, that really shows and gives the information to empower and help uh, patients and their families realize that the treatment success rates, when, co when combined with these new scientific breakthroughs, can skyrocket. So important for people providing these treatments to know what's available, but also, obviously, it takes the individual going forward and saying, I want help for them to even have the ability to use these exciting new technologies. Everyone in the audience is going to get a copy of Dr. Urschel's book. It's called Healing the Addicted Brain, talking about all of these issues. Thank you so much. Now, this next...